Mr. President, we can be proud of the bipartisan work the Senate has accomplished in recent years to expand veterans' benefits. Last Congress, we made significant progress with passage of legislation to enhance education, pensions, burial, compensation, and landmark improvements to the Department of Veterans Affairs Care and Services for Women Veterans, in addition to a groundbreaking initiative to prevent veteran suicides. I'm hopeful we can use this momentum to continue turning legislation into law to ensure we fulfill the promise our country made to the men and women who serve in uniform as well as their families. We know too many veterans are being left behind because of current VA policies that prohibit them from accessing benefits and health care services they have earned. Veterans like Bill Rhodes of Mena, Arkansas, a Marine who served in Thailand during the Vietnam War era, are pleading with Congress to help them get needed medical care and support. After, after developing illnesses linked to herbicide exposure, Mr. Rhodes turned to the VA for help. His claim was denied. He did his homework. He spent time looking for documentation to support his claim and realized this is a problem that needs a legislative fix because the department's policies limit benefits for Vietnam War era for Thailand service. I'm proud to join with my colleague and chairman of the Senate Committee on Veterans Affairs, Senator Tester, to introduce legislation to help Mr. Rhodes and veterans like him who are exposed to Agent Orange and other herbicides while serving in Thailand during the Vietnam War. The VA accepts that herbicides were used on fenced-in perimeters of military bases in Thailand, but its current policy is too restrictive. Among other things, it prohibits veterans who worked in security-related specialties. It's reasonable to believe that veterans on Thai bases were exposed to Agent Orange, no matter what their jobs were or where their duty stations were. In an article published in the Dayton Daily News, one veteran who served in Thailand said his barracks were along the perimeter, and at the time of the interview, he still hadn't received benefits for his VA claim. The arbitrary limits on consideration of a veteran's claim of toxic exposure are simply wrong. These misguided technicalities and bureaucratic hurdles need to be addressed. Our bill would eliminate the unreasonable burden placed on veterans to prove toxic exposure. No veteran should be denied benefits due to red tape. These Americans who served our country and to this day are paying a high price as a result have been carelessly hindered by the current limitations on the presumption of toxic exposure to Agent Orange, but they aren't forgotten. We have an obligation to ensure they get the benefits they are, they are due, and I'm committed to supporting their cause. I appreciate the determination and tireless effort of Mr. Rhodes. He said this legislation gives him some hope, but he won't be proud of his work until the bill is passed. I encourage my colleagues to support our legislation. I look forward to working with members of the Senate VA Committee to eliminate the barriers that prevent veterans from getting the care and resources they have earned. And with that, uh, Mr. President, I yield back.